You see, I'm not going to uh, make it difficult for you, Ahmad. You are a nice person and you are welcome. Can you give me a proof? You said to me, it's the truth. The truth says, the Quran says, to be burhanikum in kuntum sadiqun, sadiqin. Bring me your, you know, your proof if you are truthful. Do you agree with that? Yeah. All right. Give me the proof that Quran is from God. You see, the one who put the rules is your God. Yes. All right. Give me the proof that the Quran is from the true God, not somebody. Uh, okay, because Quran is is from God because it forbids everything that is wrong with this world. Every no, it's, uh, Quran does not forbid anything. As an example, are you forbidden to be a print in Islam? Can I finish? Because Quran forbids drugs, alcohol, not, fornication. Not, not, not a true. Not a true. Uh, adultery. Not a true. If, not it a, forbids all of these things. Not a true. Not a true. All of this is false. Do your prophet allow you to do muta? Yes, that was uh, allowed muta, but that was during the war time. Okay. There what were is, five what is muta? Isn't it muta was, prostitution? No, it's not prostitution. So what it is? Uh, you give like uh, it's like a contract marriage for no. a period of time. How long? How long? It can be as long as one minute or one day or okay. one year. So, guys, it can be as one minute or one, or no, not one year. This is short. It have to be more, not more than a few days. So, one minute. You just said one minute. So, you give a woman money in return for her to sleep with you, correct? That's why it's called muta. It's sexual, sexual muta. Yeah. Okay. So, how this is not a, not not prostitution? Because this is what prostitution is about. You pay a woman. It's a contract. You pay her in return. She take off her panty. You sleep with her. One yeah, okay. what's wrong with that? What's wrong? What, but you just say to me, Islam, okay. for, but you just said to okay. me, Islam forbid fornication, adultery, yeah. but Islam allow fornication. Yeah. Okay, what yeah. about what about? Okay, can I finish? Can I finish? But this is this is this is halal, this is not zina. Okay, but but you just made legalize, you just made legalize the fornication. You are a fornicator, or what you did, you just changed the name of prostitution. Yeah, but it, it's from God. It's halal. It's not. How it's dinner. halal? You know, how you say? How you say to me that in Islam fornication and adultery is forbidden, and now you are saying to me, Allah allow me to do fornication and rent women to have sex with. So how you forbid it, but you make it legal? Is having sex with your wife is that a fornication? She's not a wife. You know, it says here. You just told me one minute. Is it you who said the word min one minute? Did you, did you say? Said, did you say one? I, it can would be one minute. It can be a day. It can be a year. You yeah. said that, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but it's that's it. It says temporarily and muta. Yeah, the word muta. What, yeah. what muta mean? Muta means sexual pleasure, correct? Yeah. Okay. So the purpose of this relationship is sex. Why not? Okay, so the purpose of the relationship is sex, not because you're in love or you want to have a family, correct? Yeah. Okay, that is prostitution. Prostitution, you don't want to, you know, you don't care for this woman. You don't want to have a wife. You don't want to have kids from her. You just want to sleep with her. So what do you do? You tell her how much you charge me. She agree. You say to her for how long? You say, I will stay with you for like an hour or half hour. And, you know, you pay her and bingo, you know, we are done. So you Muslims, you legalize prostitution and you call it marriage. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Secondly, is it true that you can work as a pimp in Islam? Like as a pimp? Like what do you mean? As a pimp? As a pimp. You know what pimp means. You speak English better than me. No, that is not true. Because no. if that was true, you'll be, you, you be seeing it um, um, everywhere in Muslim countries. You see it everywhere. You see it everywhere. No, you don't see it. You see it everywhere. Just go to Turkey, go to Egypt, go to all countries, Muslim countries. You see it everywhere. But look at this. This is in the Quran. Is it in the, is it, is the Quran better than the countries of Muslims? Here we go, the chapter twenty four, verse number thirty three. It says, "For force not your slave, so force not your slave girls into prostitution, if they desire chastity, which means if they don't desire chastity, if they agree, it's okay. If if you force them, still it's okay. And if you force them, Allah is merciful. There's no punishment for you or for them." Chapter thirty twenty four, verse number thirty three. You can be working as a pimp in Islam. It's in the front of you. Uh, give me one second. What verse is this? 
Chapter 24, verse number 33. Chapter 24, verse... Don't force them to do prostitution. If they choose chastity, but if they agree not to be chaste, they like to be hookers, fine, it's fine, very fine. But and even if you force them, huh? Allah is all merciful. But these are only slaves. So so you allow so you can work as a pimp in Islam, and uh, and the one you are now is actually is even more evil. Now you are abusing girls, you kidnap them from their family, you make them sex slave literally. And you force them to prostitution. And your God now, because the women, the Muslim women, they start complaining. The husband, they don't sleep with them. And everybody have tons of women. And he is making a business. So now Muhammad make it legal to have pimp business. And now you are saying to me, oh, because they are slaves. So we can work as a pimp. So you can be a pimp. And you agreed with me. I don't agree with you, but I, I just got to check the tafsir and commentary. And, no problem. Uh, you can check the tafsir. It's in front of you. You speak Arabic. Why Muslims they cannot understand the Quran in Arabic, and they need tafsir? If the Quran says we made it clean in a clear details, that's why we make it in Arabic. Why we make it in Arabic to make it in order to make it clear? Look like it's still not, it's still not clear for Muslims. So Allah, no, it's... so Allah, He failed to make His Arabic clear to you, and this is additional proof that the Quran can't be from God, because you just said, I need to read the interpretation. Why? Because the Quran in Arabic is not clear for you, and you are an Arab. Now that's because one Arabic word can have uh, different meanings, it multiple matter. meanings. It doesn't matter. Still, you're actually, you even you know, you make it more horrible. So your God is using wrong language, wrong word, because there is many meaning, and now he's confusing us more. So why in the Quran he says we made it in Arabic language, so it make it clear. So obviously the Arabic language does not make it clear. It make it more confusing. Correct. Give me one more. I'm I'm still uh, I'm reading the verse, trying to understand it. No problem. The Quran, chapter twelve, verse number two. It says, "Verily, we have sent you down in Arabic, Quran, in order that you may understand." And obviously, you may understand not. Even though you are an Arab and you speak Arabic very well, but still you have no idea what the Quran is saying and you are getting confused. So Allah is a very bad person in Arabic. His Arabic is very, is like a Pakistani guy. He went to Saudi Arabia and he learned to say two words like Sadiq. And Allah now is <laughs> using the word Sadiq. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> I like it when Muslims laugh. You know. <laughs> Oh, we can show you tafsir okay. in the screen if you want. No, I'm trying. I'm trying to read the previous verses. No problem. To, maybe you're trying to get stuff out of context because you do that more, all, all the time. I never do because simply this is your even your Islamic scholars agree with that. <sighs> and now I I think maybe because. Uh, uh, is uh, uh, Allah is allowing pink because they're poor. Uh, so, so they need so money to survive. My friend, uh, you see, uh, don't don't be uh, offended now. I'm just uh, being uh, like uh, sarcastic. You are the smartest person ever in the world who called me. So I am poor, but I have tons of slaves. That makes sense. Look like only poor people they own slaves. Rich people don't have slaves. I mean, come on, only poor people. They are poor, but they have tons of slaves, and they are beautiful girls. You see how poor they are? Well, a poor person, he can't even feed himself. So how he own slaves? How you are poor, yet you own a human being, not cows? It's not a cow. It's not a donkey. You own humans. So how poor you are, yet you own many maids, maids, slaves. Yeah, but it's not actually pimp. They they're not actually prostitute. They um, they get arranged marriage. What arranged marriage? It says al-baga. You speak Arabic. Suddenly now you don't know Arabic. Does it say al-baga? What al-baga mean? Even your Muslim translation says, "Force not your your maids into prostitution." Ahmad, 
Come on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Okay, thank you very much. So Islam allow you to be to work as a pimp, but for sure you are a nice person. You're a good man. You will not do that, correct, Ahmad? Yeah. Okay, so you are better than Allah. Yeah, that's true. But okay, let me tell you one okay, thing. Okay, hold on. Though. Okay, just did you just say that's true? So you agree that Allah is a bad person? You just said you are better than Allah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm I'm saying you gotta look into the tafsir because this could be. My friend, uh, we can look at the tafsir. No was... problem. You know, you speak Arabic. There's no tafsir. I mean, it's easy. Look at the tafsir. Open the Bible and read it. It's the same. And you you know, and you agreed. This is about and the verse so clear. You know, if you force them, Allah is all merciful. There's no penalty in Islam for for a prostitution. There's no penalty, not a single time. You can use your slaves as you wish. And you are the one who said to me right away, "Oh yeah, because they are slaves." So we can use them and abuse them. And here, because the Muslim women, yeah, start, but only they, for sex. Yes, or for sex. But this is what prostitution is about. Those women, they are not going to teach in school. They are just opening their their legs. What do you mean only for sex? So, suppose this is better now. This is their job. Their job is only for sex. Thank you very much. So your God himself is a pimp because the one who allow you to be a pimp, he must be a pimp. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with, what's wrong with God is a pimp? You, are, you agree that your God is a pimp and you are saying what's wrong with that? I'm saying like like it, uh, God is trying to satisfy our desire. What's wrong with that? Well, thank you very much. So you see, why you say to me, I said to you, what is the proof that Islam is from God? You said to me, Islam forbid every bad things. I said like what? You said like uh, uh, for, uh, adultery, fornication, etc. But you now you agreed that your God Allah, He care for satisfying our sexual needs by promoting prostitution and opening a pimp house and making temporarily. Uh, uh, sex contracts. So you you know your 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 prophet and your God, they are from the red flags uh, family. You know they have red flag. The Arab in the in the old days in the time of Muhammad, they used to have red flag. If the woman she is prostitute, she have a red flag in the top of her house, so the customers will know. So your God Allah Himself, His house have a red flag. Incorrect, man. That's incorrect. Okay, that's the correct. So why you don't leave Islam, Ahmad? Uh, you accept yourself. I mean, I, I, I'm sure you are a person of honor. You don't accept such a, th such a thing. Do you accept yourself that with my respect to your family, you know, that your family, any member of your family, I'm not trying to insult. Please care for it. I'm not trying to insult. Do you do you accept any of member of your family, your father, your brother, your sister, your mother, your sister? They do any of this practice. No, of course not. So why you don't leave Islam, my friend? Yeah, but these, but but these are not happening to Muslim women. These are happening to slaves, Christians, but, but, and Jews. But, but, but doesn't change anything. That's mean you are a rapist. That's mean you are a pimp at the end of the day. And not only that, who said that the slaves are not necessarily Muslims? Because many of them they convert to Islam. Isn't it Bilal was a slave too? Bilal, yeah, he was a slave. Okay, so Muslims own uh, own Muslim slaves. So there's the slaves who they are Muslims. So are you saying now to me that like if I kidnap a Muslim woman and I force him into slavery to be sex a slave, is it okay just because she is not Christian? Is that your ethic? No. Well, this is what you said That's... to me. You said to me just because they are not Muslims, so we can rape them, we can make them sex slaves, we can force them to prostitution. You just agreed on that. I'm saying maybe this verse was revealed at that time. For sure, it revealed at that time. To, yeah, Ahmad, yeah, come on, uh, my, uh, my friend. Uh, uh, my, only at that time. My it's friend. Not my friend. Meant for today. Everything revealed at that time. And you Muslims, you claim that the Quran fit for all times. No, no, it doesn't. Because Muta, Muta doesn't. Muta doesn't. Muta was uh, was only practiced uh, during uh, the Prophet's lifetime. It's no, not practiced I can anymore. show you a hadith where Muhammad he practiced it during his life, and then Omar practiced it after his death, and ever all the caliphate they practice it. 
Uh, if that was the case, then how come people, uh, how come uh, the the scholars and sheikh have uh, forbidden muta? Because they say that the prophet he allowed, he forbid it, he allowed, he forbid it, he allowed, he forbid it. But this is in the hadith, and the hadith is a, uh, how you Muslims you take a hadith against the Quran. Which one is your God? Is it hadith book or the book of God, which is supposed to be the Quran? Which one you follow? There's no verse in the Quran that says don't do muta, correct? The chapter of the muta in the Quran is chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Yeah, yeah, I know. But when that verse was revealed, it was during um, a certain uh, specific time. No problem. Did Allah reveal a but, verse against it? Did Allah reveal a verse that says don't do muta no more? Uh, no. Okay. Did Allah forget or forgot? Oh. Uh, so it is not but God. The, I, you see, this yeah, God is the, this God is not God, the, my, yeah, my friend. This, this God is this God is not God because. If if the one who will fix Allah mistakes is Muhammad, that means your God is Muhammad, not Allah. And the Quran says that you know the, the one who take beside Allah Lords, he is a mushrik. No, that's not correct. That's who, not true. who is your Lord, Allah or Muhammad? L l uh, uh, look, whatever the Prophet says yeah. comes from God. So whatever okay. he says, Thank you whatever, he, okay, whatever comes from his mouth okay, wonderful. is wonderful. the word of God. Show me where it says that whatever comes from the mouth of Muhammad is the word of Allah. Because if it's a word of Allah, it has to be a Quran. What comes from the mouth of Muhammad is the Quran as the word of Allah. Even Muhammad himself, and you are a Muslim Sunni, he said, anything else beside the Quran, erase it. Is that correct? Anything besides the Quran, erase it. Erase it, yeah, which means the hadith. Muhammad, you don't want you to write the hadith. Read carefully. This is the, the hadith in front of us on the screen. It says, don't take down anything from me. And he who took down anything from me except the Quran, he should efface. Do you see it? Efface that. So you Muslims should not follow the, Quran, the hadith, you should follow you should not you, you focus on the Quran Muhammad you don't want anything to be written except the Quran based on this hadith based on this hadith but Islam cannot be exist without the hadith so Muslim they have to follow because there's contradiction and the Quran says you have to obey Allah and the messenger and the hadith the first verse says the one who obeyed the messenger I got obey you Allah. busted I got you busted huh. how there is no harm in it no, no harm in what in uh, in writing down on what he's saying, narrating uh, narrating what uh, the prophet where, is saying. Where it says no harm. What does that mean? Harm, no harm in it. Where is this says? Look at that. Look, uh, do not take down anything from me. And uh. he who took down anything from me except the Quran. Yeah. He should efface that and and narrate from me, for there is no yeah. harm yeah. in it. Yeah. No, it says this is you see you're just in, uh, you are reading the English. No harm in it. It says, Wala haraja. Don't be. Haraja. Wala haraj. You see the word haraj, you speak Arabic. Wala yeah. haraj, which means there's no problem. Don't be. Don't worry about erasing. There's no harm. Nobody will harm you. I'm giving the order. So, wala haraj. Woman kadiba alayhi. You know, the one who would lie about what I say, let him sit in a, in a, in a, in a chair of fire, which means in hell time. So, there's no harm in you, which means God will not punish you. That's all. How you got me busted, my friend? You got yourself busted. Can you just go down and see if the uh, the hadith is... Uh, well, this is Sahih Muslim. Authentic? This is Sahih Muslim. But how can I be sure it's Sahih Muslim? It says there in front of you, it says Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 3004. Hadith number... 3004. If you want to read it from right to left, it's 4003. Sorry, can you say the hadith number three zero zero four? All right, Sahih Muslim, that. Sahih Muslim. Give me one moment. And my friend, I'm showing you Islam. This is Sunnah.com. This is your Islam Sunni website. Sunnah.com. Do you see it? Sunnah.com. So don't worry about. It. I mean, I mean, you see, it's recorded. People will laugh at me if I'm lying. You, you, you yourself, you will laugh. You will spit at me if I'm lying. You know. I mean, come on. This is your Muslim website. This is your translation. That's all right. I'll, I'll get you busted. Oh, still you insist? And then now we are 10 to 0. <laughs> I got you busted about muta, fornication, 
adultery and, uh, uh, and, and prostitution. And now we will go here. You know, you are saying that you follow your prophet, you don't follow Allah. Because the prophet is, whatever he speak, he speak for Allah. 